Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be talking about, again, about serial correlation. And we're going to be talking about how that is symptomatic of functional misspecification. Yeah. So what does this actually mean in reality? Well, let's say I was interested in finding out what the effect of age was on someone's wage rate. Yeah, so we can think about when someone's really young, perhaps they don't earn very much um, wage at all, perhaps they just do sort of a paper round. Then when they leave university, they're graduates, but their sort of wage is increasing slightly. Um, and then we sort of get to them in their 30s and 40s, um, when perhaps their wage rate is peaking, or perhaps early 50s. And then when you get closer to retirement, perhaps the wage rate actually tends to decrease, perhaps. I'm not sure if this is an exact, um, well, it definitely isn't an exact process, but perhaps we could sort of think about the process as, as following something like that. Um, let's say I naively estimated a model, which was wage being determined by some sort of linear function of age. And so that means I'm fitting a straight line to this data. Perhaps my straight line would look something like that. So here we would have runs of basically positive errors, then followed by runs of negative errors where we were under predicting. Yeah, and then perhaps some more errors at the bottom as well, uh, at the end of our line rather. So note this again is evidence of serial correlation because if I have um, a given positive error in my model then for sort of an error in the sort of point next to it for, for one more age of education I'm also likely to make a positive error so this again is an example of serial correlation but note that this has come about because of the fact I've tried to fit a straight line to something which is inherently non-linear if instead I had fit a line which was sort of wage rate is equal to alpha plus beta 1 times age plus beta 2 times age squared, where sort of we'd expect that beta 2 is less than zero to capture the fact that we have sort of diminishing returns to age, then perhaps my estimated model might look something like that. So it's not fitting the data perfectly, but again, by specifying a more sort of correct model that has enabled us to get rid of this serial correlation. So note that serial correlation in this circumstance has actually been symptomatic of the fact that I have functionally misspecified my model. I've tried to fit a straight line to data which is inherently non-linear. So in this circumstance it actually would have led us um, quite wrongly to conclude that there was some sort of constant returns to age, constant positive returns to age, when in fact we know that the returns to uh, age are inherently non-linear. So we would have had some sort of bias in our estimate of beta.